Kaylee, we're getting ready to do your reading. All right, Coco wants to be here. Just gonna... I started your reading and then she came over. But let's start it again. So Universe, Angel Spirits, and Guides of the White Light. What are, what are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So you have the marriage card. It actually came out when I did your first, your other reading. It says, you are, are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Also letting go. So your emotional release, letting go of something and something. 21, your path. 36, have courage to follow your own path. Also, you might want to consider a sideways approach. It says, consider something unconventional. Take a sideways approach. Okay, this is your variety of messages. We'll see if they, oh, something just flew out. Oh, the King of Wands has been flying out of their deck. Um, but he's actually in reverse, to be very honest. There may be a person in your life who, maybe the easiest way to get out of something might be to kind of quietly, to, you know, tiptoe away, walk away or something. This so obviously could be a coworker, a boss, uh, maybe you can't tiptoe away from a boss, an ex, something like that. So he is in reverse when he came out perfectly. So that tells me you could have a person, a man or a woman in your life who's causing you stress or anxiety right now. You may find that this person is um, self-centered. I think the King of Wands, you know, as a person kind of is a self-centered energy when it come out in reverse, it's always about them, their looks, their body, what's going on with you know, in their life, they may not even bother to ask you how you are. So this may be someone you're letting go of. This could, yeah, definitely the, the cards together tell me that you're attracting, attracting a really good person towards you. And the past people have been karmics, people who maybe really haven't had your best interest in mind. So let's see what's coming out for you, Libra. Page of Cups, the Star card, Two of Swords, Lovers, Seven of Swords, yeah. Hanged man. Under the deck is a three of swords. There's definitely somebody in your life who's causing you a lot of pain. And as I split the deck, again, now I see the six of swords. So moving away from that. It could be any sign. Again, a king of wands came flying out. So it could be a fire sign. We got Aquarius, Gemini's here. But that's why they're saying that there's somebody else. And maybe you're married to this person. Maybe you're married to a narcissist or something like that. Maybe you're, the best way to kind of get out of the situation is think of a different way, something that's unconventional. Otherwise, I kind of feel like though you learned the lesson from this past person and now you're ready for like genuine, true, uncon unconditional love. Someone could be cheating right now. If, if you're hoping for the best and kind of like putting your blinders on and not be listening to your intuition, not paying attention to the red flags, you know there's a problem in this connection with somebody. Yeah, I'm even seeing as I split the deck, I put him back in upright, and as I split the deck with the Five of Swords next to him, I think this person only cares about their own needs, and like this is someone who could cheat and then blame you, and blame you for their cheating, that you weren't good enough, you didn't do this for them or that, that's kind of what I'm getting off this person. So definitely have somebody in the, like that in your life, it's time to like get rid of them. So maybe you are dating um, another air sign, like yourself, or maybe you're manifesting what's best for you, so again, maybe there is a Gemini, Aquarius, or maybe another Libra coming into your life. Page of Cups. You're definitely seeing someone differently. You're seeing who they really are. Uh, maybe up until now, you kind of just let it go. You let it slide. Now you're realizing this person has like no genuine concern for you. I guess someone's coming in who maybe they're very wealthy, well off. They see you as the Nine of Coins, so they appreciate you. They see you. And appreciate you as a person, you know, your qualities. Tower. Yeah, getting rid of something old, getting something new. See, someone's being left out in the cold. I don't know. Some may not have money anymore. Okay, see, now this is showing me again, maybe leaving an earth sign out in, the, out in the cold and going towards a fire sign. Wow, we got a king and queen of wands here. There's a lot of passion here. You're definitely leaving, look at the shame of the King of Swords here under the deck. A lot of people showing up. You're definitely leaving something behind and going towards someone better, something better. For somebody, this could be a job. I'm also getting though, there could have been someone who they became rich while you knew them. Like they now have a lot of money and they become very cocky. Um, it's hard to even just have a t conversation with this person. They feel like they know it all. You know, that kind of person where all of a sudden they get, have a lot of money and then 
they're they can be rude or but i do feel like you're moving towards somebody who you and this person just are on the same page you have the same likes you guys get along very well ten of cups so maybe maybe moving out to like a place where it's less like it's less crowded uh, you may have some i'm getting fruit trees a big home i'm getting maybe get a house and then you're going to maybe repaint it i'm getting there could be fruit trees on the land apples oranges um avocados things like that i get like uh, big trees like very um not old trees that's not the word but when a tree's been around a long time that's what i'm getting it's like that word is right there on the tip of my tongue mature Okay, what does Spirit want you to know about this connection? Yeah, you see, somebody who's going to bring more stability in your life. They even could be considered somebody who's a friend right now. But I'm getting, it may not be like money stability you need. It's like someone who's not so erratic in their emotions. Like you could have been dealing with someone who's happy one day, angry the next day, sad the next day. You never know who they're going to be. Maybe they kind of have a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. I think that's how you say it. Um, personality going on. What else? Yeah, because see, you were with someone who, one, you guys did not see eye to eye. You guys are different pages. You didn't see eye to eye. This person has very different um, beliefs, personalities, whatever. You need someone who's stable. Maybe you were dealing with someone who had some sort of mental issue or emotional issue or something. So, yeah. I'm, I'm totally totally picking that up in the reading that maybe this person needs to get on some medication or get some professional help or something like that that you're dealing with or they need to deal with their anger issues or something along that line one more please there's a past life love so an x can be an x rejection if that is what's going on trust trust that that's a good thing if you're dealing with someone who's erratic and self-centered and then they turn you down know that it's the best thing for you because they're not going to be happy with anyone is what I'm getting. They can move on from you and be dating someone else or married to someone else later. And they, they're they still not going to be happy. They're going to be the same person. It's them. It's not you. So they may be searching for someone or something better. They're really not going to find it because they need to do some inner work is what I'm picking up. So I kind of get for some of you definitely. There's there's a situation around you with someone who's very snapperish or like like, pin, like, the, like mean. Um... I just kind of like get the, try to get out of that situation as quietly and as easily as possible. It may be very helpful. Let me see what other advice is coming in for you, Libra. Some of you may be leaving a fire sign and meeting a new fire sign. You like that fiery energy, that passionate energy. But Okay, what does Libra need to know? You have positive work outcomes. So consistent efforts will bring in rewards and major purchase is worth making. I see somebody buying a house later. Um, it's it's not like a newer home. It does look kind of like it's a little bit older and it may take a little upkeep or work, but it's still very nice. I get it comes with a lot of land around it. Um, also, I'm seeing somebody purchasing a house that's on the corner. It's the corner one. And this one's kind of a two-story or maybe even like a two with a basement or two with an attic or something add-on. But it's a corner house and it has a fence or around the backyard. Okay, what else? So there's some sort of change. It says a change of residence. Yeah, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless and you need a change. And that is exactly what is coming your way. So things are definitely changing. So again, I'm getting for some of you, if you get a new opportunity, you may again, I keep getting this, getting out of the old situation kind of quietly or, you know, it's like you don't want to, you don't want drama to follow you. So you're going to find the easiest way to get out of a past situation. And this, for some of you, there's a rejection and see friendships. It says on here, friendships in your life may come to an end. Others though could blossom and become stronger. Actually, that card says reflection. Did you guys see that? It says reflection, not rejection. I read it as rejection because of that other card. Um, I'm kind of, I was getting that there could be someone you might consider a friend or something who may reject you. But again, I feel like that was 
it is something that's just meant to be at this time. But that card actually says reflections about friendships, coworkers, people you date. Some may end, others may become stronger. You know which one should stay in your life and which one should be leaving. So, all right, I'm going to leave it there, Libra. Have a great week, you guys.